What's up legends, Ash here from Fighting Spirit and today I am going to help you choose a side. Are you going to be Team Lace Ups or Team Velcro? Hey. It's like saying, are you Team Boxing or are you Team MMA? And damn it, as somebody who loves fight gear and combat sports, why can't we just love both? So whether you're undecided or you're willing to jump over to the dark side, let me explain to you both sides of the boxing glove force and explain the pros and cons of both strapping methods. Starting off with the Velcro side, or also known as hook and loop because apparently we're not allowed to say Velcro anymore. Basically, you're looking at a glove which has a thick, tall and wide leather strap which is encasing what is called a hook and a loop. Essentially, you're going to wrap from the inside of your wrist around the back with the hook part onto the loop side to secure your arm to your glove. When it comes to lace-ups, however, it entirely removes the need for this strap. Essentially, you have a length of lace that goes on the inner palm all the way down to the end of the glove, making your little figure eights in order to ratchet and pull each side of the glove together, then strapping around the glove, tying off in order to secure the glove really snug to your arm. Now, while that was a brief and very simple way of putting it, there are pros and cons to both methods. And on top of this, there are newer methods or advancements and accessories that actually allow further pros or further cons to either strapping style, making it harder and harder to choose which style you prefer more. But I'll run through those after the pros and cons so that way you can make a more informed decision. Now starting off the debate, we're gonna be on the Velcro side of things. And even though there's only really one pro of having a Velcro glove, it is the biggest and that is due to its convenience factor. Velcro gloves simply allow you to put a glove on with one hand, help with the other in order to secure your arm to your glove. It's quick and easy and voila. Now, when it comes to the cons of Velcro, when it comes to hook and loop straps, these will eventually fail, usually over a long period of time, but unfortunately, depending on the quality, sometimes also on a shorter basis. And this can end up killing your glove. The only other option you could resort to, which is expensive over a long period of time, is taping up, which essentially nullifies the whole reason you got a Velcro glove in the first place. The next con about hook and loops, which actually usually turns a Velcro lover onto lace-ups, is the security factor. Now, boxers will argue that lace-ups are more supportive, but I would argue that that's not entirely true. It doesn't always depend on the, uh, the strapping system, which makes a good supportive glove. However, what Velcro does lack is actually holding you into position with your glove. Even though I can basically put my hand into the glove with relative ease, I can pull it out just the same. I'm in, feels nice and secure, but I can pull my hand out just as easily. The last and unfortunate con of having Velcro gloves has got to do with the hook and loops uh, accidentally acting like a cheese grater on you or your partner's face. When you're training or when you're sparring, sometimes that loop strap, if it's very, very scratchy, can actually end up cutting, grazing, and really irritating the skin of your opponent, even getting in the eyes, the ears, really, really nasty. Now you can avoid this obviously by strapping up correctly, but every time you knock that hook and loop strap gets a little bit weaker and that hook becomes a little bit more exposed. It's not something you can avoid, but it is one of the reasons why people tend to move over to lace-ups, especially for sparring. Now, when it comes to the pros of lace-ups, the number one reason that people get lace-ups is the security factor. Now, again, this is not to do with wrist support. You don't get good wrist support from boxing gloves just from simply having a decent pair of lacings, but I'll go over this a little bit more towards the end of the video. Now, the second big plus to having lace-ups in comparison to Velcro is that laces can be replaced. Unlike hook and loops, which you may be able to get repaired, that costs a lot of money, whereas laces you can basically find anywhere. And while the loops in this, it is possible to tear, you are much, much more likely to ruin your laces than anything else on this glove, so they can easily be replaced. And of course, being able to just replace your laces means you don't have to fork out hundreds of dollars for a new set of gloves. And lastly, the third pro of having a pair of lace-ups has to do with providing a streamlined profile. 
Now, while some Velcro gloves can also provide a streamlined profile, traditionally, you will see that a Velcro gloves uh, wrist strap lies on top of the surface of the glove, which can actually get in the way when you're trying to sneak in a shot during sparring. Whereas lace-ups, generally, not always, but they usually have something a little bit more streamlined from the back of the forearm down to the knuckles. And that is essentially why you are always going to get lace-ups in competition fights, because it's going to strap a lot better. You're going to tape it up so that glove is smooth and it won't cause any entanglements or cause those laces to get loose during any ring bouts. Moving on to the cons, or I should say con of lace-ups, is the fact that you cannot simply do these tight enough by yourself. But worry not, young Jedi, there are many advancements and other little accessories you can use to make lace-ups and Velcro gloves even better. Now, the number one item that we're gonna talk about that helps team lace-ups has got to be the lace and loop. And while these ones from Fight HQ aren't the original lace and loops, they perform exactly the same. Essentially, you lace your loop right into this little eyelet here, which allows you to simply strap over the top with an elasticized bit of hook and loop, and you're good to go. You're basically getting the best of both worlds, a nice, secure lace grip, and also the convenience of being able to lace up yourself. Now to help with your lace ups, I'm actually going to push you to another video that's on YouTube. It's a completely free way of being able to even get a better experience when it comes to using your lace ups. Essentially, this legend Enrico Suave invented the Suave system, or I believe he invented the system, and basically he brought out a 20 minute video that explains how to even better utilize your laces in order to ratchet both sides against each other. I highly recommend you watch this video if you've got the time as it's a free way to be able to really enhance your boxing gloves. Now for Team Velcro or Team Hook and Loop, some manufacturers have figured out that using a double strap is actually a better way to create more security between yourself and the glove. The Hayabusa T3s are a great example of this. Essentially, you've got two Velcro straps here, one that's elasticized, allowing you to pull your side back on itself, and then your other back around creating a very, very secure grip onto your gloves. And you can also experience a double strap on gloves for a lot less. For example, these Pitbull, Pitbull Visual Empowerment gloves that I bought on Amazon were 30 Aussie dollars. So I will be doing a full review on these soon, but these also come with a double strap, which is insane value. There's a lot more that I'll explain about this glove in that review, but you can get gloves that have this feature for a lot less than the T3s. Now, before we finish up, there is a little boxing glove theory or legend that I want to extinguish or squish. Every boxing glove out there in the market will have some sort of description saying that it provides premium wrist support. I would confidently argue that four out of five gloves, maybe even as a high percentage, do not provide any or very little wrist support. But I'm gonna squash that theory in another little video, so make sure you stay, stay, stay tuned for that. So until then, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you learned a lot about either being Team Lace Up or Team Velcro, or maybe, just maybe, you fell in love with both. So if you did like this video, Legends, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my next uploads. And as always, if you have any questions regarding this video or any fight gear for that matter, make sure you leave them down below and I'll see you guys very, very soon.